Welcome back to Mock the Mock, where we take a look at someone else's mock draft. And I'm mocking, giving my views, thoughts, and opinions. We're not checking out a Daniel Jeremiah mock draft. This is a Chad Reuters mock, or Reuter mock draft. And it's a four-rounder, so it's going to be a time and a half. We're going to go through the first round, kind of speed through the other picks. Look at which ones are surprising and whatnot. But what's crack lacking it's your boy, Bro Schmo. Just in case you did not know, so go ahead, become bro and subscribe. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content as always. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have that nice, beautiful football uh, discourse. I will have a big board out for y'all later today. I did my wide receiver videos earlier today, so go ahead, check that out. Got a big mock draft uh, with a good special guest later in the week so be on the look for that let's go ahead do this dang sucker he says he includes seven trades in this mock draft five in the first round one will be for aaron Rodgers, and the other will be for some picks and we'll get to that later all right so we're gonna open it up cj stroud Going to Carolina, like 70% of people kind of mock Stroud to Carolina. That's not really surprising to see here. Uh, either you're kind of biting on the whole um, whole McCown, oh, really likes him. The coaching staff likes him. They're going to bring him in. Or you're part of the group that's like, Bryce Young, if you're giving up all that capital, you want to get who you think is the best prospect in this class at the quarterback position for a lot of people that is that is uh young but you will see stroud mocked here a ton uh if you're doing predictive all right which i assume bryce young is going here bryce Young's going to texans not much to talk about here we think a lot of people uh 90 percent of people saying people think they're gonna go ahead and get their quarterback of the future here with pick two. The other 10% want to believe, oh, this is gonna be like Will Anderson or something, and then oh, we're gonna tank for Caleb, which is just one of the stupidest ideas, I think. You don't you you draft for this draft. You don't start preparing for the next one. Thinking, oh, we'll be able to get the, you have no idea what next year's quarterback class is gonna look like in a year's time you have no idea where you're going to be drafting or are you going to be in a position you don't you just don't do that don't draft for 2024 before the 2023 draft that's my opinion indianapolis colts actually move up with the trade here to secure anthony richardson that's kind of a safe one like oh colts they just make sure no one trades up to three in front of them to go ahead and take their prospect they go ahead and move up to three just eliminate any any possibility of that happening they're getting anthony richardson tools out the wazoo we know why we're seeing anthony richardson go this high when will anderson going to the cardinals here after a slight move back he's the best non-quarterback prospect in this class uh it would be carter but carter's got got some issues he hasn't had the best offseason draft process all right all right all right seattle seahawks now this is stunning I just got a little peeky at it, and it's uh, Joey Porter. This is why his size and length will pair quite well with the second-year starter, Tyreek Woolen. I'm not against the Seahawks going with a a corner. I don't know if it's going to be a five. Five feels a little high, maybe. Like, but I mean, I mean, you got Carter there. Do I really want to take a corner ahead of Carter? Uh, I mean, you get your pick of the gander. I mean, I, I think th there, there's a possibility. We know that, uh, oh, gosh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Why am I? F why, 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 why? His face is in my head, but I, who is the Seahawks coach? Why, why, <laughs> why does his name escape me? Seahawks coach. I'm literally going to look at it. It's. P. Carroll, thank you. I, I just kept thinking Peter, 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 and nothing else was coming to mind. P. Carroll historically hasn't taken corners this high. Then again, I mean, it, it could happen. It could happen. I mean, history is made to be broken, but it's also meant to be repeated. So figure that one out. Lucas Van Ness, surprising me here that it's not Tyree Wilson. And I'm not opposed to it. A lot of people really love Lucas Van Ness. They think uh, maybe he's like a year away from truly becoming this, like, just havoc, just continuous disruptor 
Uh, a guy, if he could flesh out some other pass rush moves that aren't a bull rush, but he's going to be like, he, he's nimble. He's a guy that's going to be used a lot with looping and stunts and whatnot. Uh, will that be something that the Lions do a ton? Uh, like, I mean, I, I'll buy into Seattle. Seattle already does a ton of that, but we'll see that from the Lions defense. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, he's got the flexibility to kick inside. He played three tech in 2021 it is an interesting pick here for detroit so all right two back-to-back nutty picks that we haven't really seen in other mock drafts christian gonzalez kind of a safe pick here for the raiders gotta preserve my voice I'm a little swollen in my throat man ever since i got over strep i think i might have to get checked out this week got them swollen tonsils hopefully i don't have to get them taken out <laughs> Should have done that as a kid. But Christian Gonzalez, I think, is a really good addition. They really have Nate Hobbs and nobody else. Atlanta Falcons, they go Tyree Wilson. I mean, uh, this is just v- fabulous value. Uh, I, if if they weren't staring down, like, corner three in this class, though I think Witherspoon still would be a really good get here. Uh, I think Wilson would be a very nice addition. This is a team that brought in Aniyamata, so you can kind of justify not Jalen Carter here if you don't want to deal with um, the potential red flags of him. So I think Tyree Wilson's a good fit. The pass rush is far from uh, complete at this point. All right, Jalen Carter, though, going to the Bears. Excellent value, good pick by the Bears. Uh, I know some people are really head fast on, you know what, no, the offseason draft process, the draft cycle was not kind to Carter, and I'm buying into it. I'm not among those people. We got two years of excellent tape, and I'd rather lean on that. I'd rather buy into Carter as this potential just like game-changing prospect. But I do understand where the where where other people would come from. He's also plays on the interior it's not exactly a high value position but it, it's one of the more high high valuable positions on the defense after like corner and pass rusher all right Atlanta foul no this is the Minnesota Vikings trading up for Will Levis I need to know what this trade involves so because Vikings don't have a second round pick all right, to move down 13 spots, Philly receives day two pick 87 or first round or next year. So I imagine that's what it is. So the Vikings, Pat in the future. Hey, we're going to get a lot of money once Kirk Cousins finally hits the road. Kirk Cousins, you're done making all the, this money off us. We got Will Levis for the future. That's fine. That's fine. Um, Kevin O'Connell, uh, he's worked with... He's worked with a guy in um, Liam Cohen, who actually was the OC at Kentucky back in 2021, worked with Levis. So, I mean, if you're trying to connect dots, there's dots there to be connected if you want to. But, yeah, I mean, the Vikings, like, likely this, like, you, you kind of want this to be the end of Kirk Cousins. Like, you kind of want to be done with that and maybe looking for your next franchise quarterback. Uh, I just don't know if the Vikings are necessarily in the best spot. You got to really hope like Levis or whoever, whatever quarterback ends up slipping. But even the end of 10, I think might be a task and a half. All right. Since he ties, they take Paris Johnson. That's kind of par for the course. Titans get in an offensive lineman at this pick. Uh, Bijan Robbins. Holy crap. Going to the Texans. Uh, the Texans are in no position to turn down a game, uh, turn down game changers on offense. Robinson, and uh Bryce Young are ready to play now. I mean, let's be fair, that offensive line. I feel like that offensive line's a center center away as long as Kenyon Green takes any considerable step than he did in his rookie year. So they're kind of a center away. Did they add a center this offseason? Uh because I don't think they have Justin Britt anymore. Not that he really played many games for them. Uh, wasn't it Quisenberry that played a lot for him last year? I got Gojo wants to come in. Yeah, Quisenberry's right now slotted as a starter. They brought in Michael Dieter, so <laughs> yay, former Dolphins player there. But eh, I don't think that's the place to go for them. But let's let Gojo come in with his wonderful insight. Come on, Gojo. Well, Gojo, uh, B. John Robinson just went to the Texans. In the second round? No, at pick 12. Why would you draft a running back that early? 
I still hate my Chiefs drafted Clyde Edwards Hedler. What a waste. I agree. I agree. Running back value, man. I agree, Gojo. All right. Let's go to pick 13. This is the Jets pick, as we know, the Packers. Um, as we know that the the Jets made the move uh, that involved the second round of Fran Rodgers in this trade or in, the, in this mock. So they get Pierce Skronsky. They get a guy that can play all five positions. And he kind of feels like the best pick for the Jets in round one. It just kind of feels like the pick for the Jets right now. Uh, Devon Witherspoon would be a phenomenal addition, I think, to the Patriots. He fits the system there, though they did bring back uh, Jonathan Jones. They even brought back um, Jalen Mills. I know, who cares? But, I mean, they did bring back guys. Maybe this pick might be more... You can make make the case tackle, but also they did bring in, like, Riley Reef, Calvin Anderson. I know a lot of people are like, oh, but, I mean, still, I mean, you're trying to figure out where they could go with this. I mean, to be fair, Witherspoon's kind of the best value on the board. All right, Green Bay Packers. Jackson, Smith, Najigba. This is the dream pick for the Packers. Will they change their ways be like, you know what? We kind of wasted Aaron Rodgers' glory years by not a, getting him playmakers. Let's get an accurate evaluation of Jordan Love by getting him someone that will eat up the middle of the field because I don't think Watson or Dubs can do that, at least on a consistent basis. So I like that pick. Commanders take Osiris Torrance. This is one I brought up, though I think probably their bigger need is at center because they're going to move Sam Cosme into guard. They have uh, Andrew Norwell. I know he's kind of a journeyman, but again, he's one of the better journeymen around the league at the guard position. Uh, this would mean, I mean, I guess Torrance could technically start left guard, but he hasn't done that since his freshman season. You could move Samuel Cosme to left guard. I'll say I think Cosme should still be playing tackle, but they brought on a Wiley is what it is. Um, are there better picks to be made here? Probably for Washington. Probably there are. All right. We got Trenton Simpson going to the Steelers. Simpson's an explosive player able to attack gaps inside and bring pressure, pressure on blitzes. They were supposed to do that with Devin Bush. They did not. They did not do i have faith that they will do that with a guy like simpson no i think they just want guys that are solid in coverage and that can play well around the line of scrimmage i don't think they're looking for blitzers from their linebackers so you could argue maybe th this pick should probably be made like at 32 with first pick in the second round if you really want to and go for like jack campbell he feels like that guy Dion Henley feels like that guy. So there's my two cents. Detroit Lions, Kalaja Kansi, everyone, their mom's like mocking Kalaja Kansi, either to the Eagles or to the Lions. He comes here. Y'all know my standpoint that I'd rather swing for the fences on Eddie Tamiwa. He's, he might be not as polished as Kansi, but he doesn't have the same type of limitations as Kansi. Roger Jones going to the Buccaneers. I like this. You could technically keep. You could technically keep uh, Tristan Wirfs at right right tackle and put Roger Jones there. I mean, Roger Jones. If you really want Wirfs at left tackle, then you can move. I think you could move Jones to uh, right tackle. But I think ideally, you probably just keep you keep Wirfs where where he's been the most dominant uh the bills actually trade up to get nolan smith and this is they're talking about smith will take over after von miller listen like i love nolan smith but the bills have to dress offensive line their offensive line was such a letdown last year let's take a look at what they're dealing with when it comes to their offensive line Because they're bringing a lot of the same culprits. They brought in Connor McGovern. I think that's good. He's going to solidify, hopefully, the left guard position. Ryan Bates was meh. They also have uh, Ike. Uh, I forgot how to say his last name. But I think he was a little banged up last year. But even then, he was pretty meh. Mitch Morris is on the downslope of his career. 
Uh, Spencer Brown's just been bad. Like, I, I think offensive line, whether it's guard or tackle, is the way to go for the Bills. And honestly, if they're moving up, I would be doing it for, like, a Darnell Wright or something. Jordan Addison going to the Chargers. He is the second receiver off the board here. So, pretty solid. They want speed. Uh, I think Addison does bring that. I know he didn't test out well. I imagine he would have tested out a bit better if uh, the USC Pro Day wasn't like Noah's Ark type of flood in. But uh, th I think they want to add speed to this receiving core desperately. Really, really do. Baltimore Ravens go Miles Murphy. This is interesting. I hate, I hate this last sentence. He compares favorably to Bud Dupree, who also went 20 seconds at the Steelers. I hate that. I hate that. Why would you say Bud Dupree? The guy that got massively overpaid by the Tennessee Titans. Why would you? Why would? Why? Why? Why, Chad? Why? <laughs> That's not a Chad thing to say. Oh, I guess it is what it is. But um, they did just acquire OBJ. Granted, this mock was done before that. Uh, so like, I think Deontay Banks would be a wonderful addition here. I think they got a big hole there at the, uh, other corner spot might be the more ideal place to go. And then we got the Eagles. They move, uh, oh no, this is the move down for Eddie Tamiwa, Eddie Bari, which honestly, I, this is my dream here. I love this. Like you could even comp Eddie Bari to like just better Milton Williams. Milton Williams kind of solidified himself in the rotation there on the interior. At a bar, you can play him outside. He's mainly played on the outside, but I think he projects better as an interior player. Uh, but I, I love this addition. This is this is for me a this is he's there's a lot of what he does. I think he he's bringing in better length than Cansey. He's got better strength than Cansey. You've seen the violence. Uh, some people will be like, why isn't he a better tackler? I know he doesn't break down well in space as a tackler. Uh, put him on the chair. I think that gets better. A lot of his tackling flaws are technique. Get that better. But as in terms of uh, as a pass rusher, I think he can bring it. Dante Banks, ooh, going to the Jags. I kind of like this because I think uh, I think uh, Banks. I think my comp for him was Eli Apple, but it was really close to like a. Tyson Campbell so bringing him in I mean in theory Darius um, Williams could kick back into the slot though he was much better on the outside than he was in the slot for y'all last year ideally Brian Branch is here I kind of I wouldn't mind that but I know Bron the community for the most part they they're a bit lower on branch but it is what it is Kansas City Chiefs move up to get Jalen Hyatt so they move up with the Giants to get a receiver Mind you, the Giants need a receiver. Though Hyatt might not be the guy. Maybe they want to add. I know Kansas City would love to add another speedster. I think Hyatt actually profiles better as a slot guy, a vertical slot guy, which you could also make the case they got a slot guy in Kadarius Tony. They got a slot guy maybe in uh, Sky Moore. I don't, I don't know, man. We'll, we'll see how the Chiefs feel about that. I don't think they necessarily even need to trade up for this. Uh, but I do think the Chiefs are going to be one of the teams that move up and go get a player uh, that they really like. I really feel like it might be along the offensive line, though. Maybe even on the uh, the edge. So something to watch out for. The Chiefs got ammo. They can move up. All right, this is the Cowboys. They go Dalton Kincaid. Uh, if Kincaid's back issues is a thing of the past. This is a thing. He only had injury issues at the end of this year, and he played through a bulk of them. I'm not concerned with the injuries this year. They were never an issue from when he played at San Diego to to his time in Utah until the end of this season. I'm not worried about it. Maybe the NFL knows more in terms of the medicals than I do. I don't have access to that information. We'll see. Um, I don't think the Cowboys really have to go with another tight end. I think they probably really like Jack Ferguson or Jake Ferg. I keep saying Jack, Jake Ferguson, and uh, Peyton Hendershot uh, enough to maybe be like, okay, if we really want to maybe get a tight end, we could wait till later rounds. Seahawks, they take uh, Zay Flowers. I actually really like them getting uh, whether it's Zay Flowers, uh, Jackson Smith, and the Jigba. 
Jordan Addison. By the way, Quinn and Johnson, I believe, still on the board here. Some way, somehow. So I think the Giants might end up getting him with uh, pick 31. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. But I, I, I like I like Seahawks going receiver with one of their picks uh, in the in like the first round. I kind of like it. Michael Mayer going to the Bengals. I think this pick's still tackled. Darnell Wright on the board. Dwan Jones on the board. Jo Jonah Williams don't want to play for y'all. Leo Collins, too many questions. Hasn't been good since the injuries. Dating back to Dallas. Go ahead. Get that final piece of protection. Let's uh Cody Mock. <coughs> oh man. I am shocked. Okay, I guess we could read this. Interior blockers, uh Pete and Ruiz. Have uncertain futures with the Saints. Well, Pete's been terrible. Ruiz, honestly, I've been screaming for the last two years. Move him back to center. He came out as a center in, at Michigan. He hasn't been great at guard. Some people be like, oh, he, he was kind of doing well down the street. It's like, nah, just move him to center. McCoy has literally said, I I will I am willing to move positions. Move, move him to guard. Cody Mock is kind of a developmental guy. I don't think the Saints are in the boat for a developmental guy, at least this early, with one of their picks. Brian Brian Brazee's on the board. Go ahead, get that interior presence. Uh, maybe you make a case for edge player here. Uh, Felix Andrew DK Uzama is probably the only guy I'm thinking of. But uh, oh no, I just got a pick, or I just got a look at pick thirty. So the Eagles trade down. Raiders move up. They get Hendon Hooker. Get that fifth year. Fifth year option. Is the fifth year option worth it for Hendon Hooker? You get a high class individual. I'm listen, I'm I'm willing to take Hendon Hooker inside the top 50, like slightly. I don't think the fifth year option means that much to me with Hendon Hooker. I think immediately we're gonna kind of know. Uh, if this guy is going to be a starter moving forward, he's going to be—he's one of the older prospects in this class. I think he's going to be 25 by the start of his rookie year. Still coming back from the ACL, might not get a snap to his name until 20 until he's 26. Might be a hard pass for me. I'm just going to throw that out there. Might be a hard pass for me. So the Giants—they—they they trade down. Quentin Johnson still. Quinn, am I crazy? Is Quinn Johnson off the board? No, he's still on the board. And they go Cam Smith? Like, okay, I like going outside corner for the Giants. I don't really think they have a solid one outside of Dory Jackson. But, man, Quinn Johns is right there for you. Literally, he's right there for you. Get your boy DJ some help. All right, let's start, the, let's start going moseying through these other rounds. Let's go to the second round. Okay, no descriptions for these picks, so we're just going to run through them. Anton Harrison, they get a left tackle. Uh, good movement player. They like guys that can move, but uh, I think they're going to want someone better with a, or with a better strength profile right now than Anton Harrison. Anton Harrison might be a year away from actually being um, that guy. So Steelers, what they come out with Trenton Simpson and Anton Harrison, it's kind of whatever. Uh, Quinnen Johnson, wow, the Texans still able to get Quinnen Johnston. Freaking wild. They get Quinnen Johnston, BJ or um, Bijan, and they get Bryce Young. That's a really good first round. Uh, Darnell Wright, okay, that's not a bad pickup. Uh, didn't they bring back? Kelvin Beecham. Because the question is, what are they going to do? Jonathan Jones, are they going to really put him at left guard? I know guard hasn't really worked out well for him, but and he might profile better as a left tackle. It's just you got DJ Humphreys, who I don't think you can move to right tackle either. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Building blocks. Keely Ringo going to the Colts. You got uh, Brian Branch, who honestly profiles really good as a uh, Patriots player. You got Miles Bryant in there in the slot. Get him out of there. Get Brian Branch. 
John Michael Schmitz going to the Seahawks. You got Gibbs, Eagles, able to move back, get Gibbs. Good on y'all, I guess. Uh, I really been liking uh, when I do multiple round mock drafts, doing Will McDonald to the Panthers in round two. Just can you imagine that speed? Will McDonald opposite of Brian Burns is just kind of nuts. Saints get Brian Brazzi, good on them. They they were able to get him at 40, solid. Felix Andrew DK Uzama, I think he, he'd be a good fit for Tennessee's defense, but I think they should be looking in the offensive area. That's kind of where they're lacking. Uh, the Packers get both second round picks from the Jets. So they get Mozzie Smith. I don't really think they need a space eater. I think they kind of need that five tech, four inside tech. Um, and he just doesn't profile as that. Darnell Washington, though, totally feels that they, they just lost. Mercedes Lewis kind of profiles as uh, the replacement there for it. Jonathan Mingo, we've been seeing him go higher and higher in mock drafts. So they get another big receiver, but this one's got some speed to him. Uh, Packers also have this pick, get Matthew Bergeron, a guy that can play guard early, or you could just have him play one of the tackle spots, and I'm cool with that. So I like that. This is a thing. Dwan Jones still on the board, by the way. This is a thing with this tackle class. Like, after Dwan Jones falls off a cliff, I don't want to take Blake Freeland until round three. It, literally, it falls off a cliff. Isaiah Foskey. Going to the Rams, I like B.J. Ojolari here. Thinks he might be a better fit, but you get a high ceiling player in Foskey. Uh, Luke Musgrave going to the tight ends. Get that tight end for uh, Eric Benemy. Noah Sewell, this feels just stupid high for him in my opinion. I don't think uh, I'd be willing to take him this high, and he's linebacker too, apparently, in um, Chad's draft here. Steelers next pick Keon White a lot of people have been mocking Keon White to the Steelers in like two rounders um, It's fine. I'm not that high on Keon White, but I think he kind of profiles best kind of as a five tech inside four tech So it's like you profile like it, it's a good fit Sydney Brown going to the Bucks So uh, what are the Bucks doing in the slot right now because I don't think they're gonna keep with how low they're on safety, I don't think they're going to keep uh, Antoine Winfield in the slot. Oh, they also brought in Ryan Neal. I forgot about that. So they got <laughs> D Delaney. Yeah, you, you need to find a slot. Like, honestly, Brian Branch would be such a good pick. I mean, who else could they put in the slot there? I mean, if you bring in Sidney Brown... I mean, he's got range. Kind of opens the idea. Sam Laporta going to the Dolphins. Get a good receiving tight end as long as the hands can get better from him. Uh, in terms of blocker, you got to put him in movement. Uh, Gravon Dexter, he's just this high upside guy that just lacks the production. Kind of a project pick for the Seahawks. Tyreek Stevenson, I love the pickup here. Allows them not to start um, Vildor Kindle, right? That's who their other. Uh, that's who started opposite of uh, Jalen Johnson because they're probably going to keep Kyler Gordon still in the slot. Kendall Vildor. It's vice versa. Got it. All right. Byron Young out of Tennessee. Actually, I think he's a good pick, man. Like, low key, man. He's one of my favorite players in this class, man. Guy that just needs more polish. You get Tucker Craft. Uh oh, Detroit fans. Get in the comments. Detroit selecting a tight end. I know y'all are going to love that one. Uh, Cedric Tillman going to the Jaguars. Fine. I don't really think they need receiving help, but okay. Uh, Joe Tittman. So the uh, Giants get a center to bring in. Still receiver, nothing. You'd be like, oh, they have so many receivers on the roster. And none of them are that good. Just going to say that. Josh Downs going to the Cowboys. Another popular guy po uh, mocked to the Cowboys. Drew Sanders. I think that's actually a really good pick to replace Tremaine Edmonds uh, for the Bills. You got Emmanuel Forbes. Uh, actually, that is actually a really good pick, I think. I mean, I think Coach Lou could do some fun things with Forbes. Rasheed Rice going to the Bears. Uh, that's real high for me. Like Rice, I really worry about how he does as a separator. Uh, I kind of like profile him as a slot guy. 
Uh, you got Antonio Johnson, a guy that kind of fell off my board, but he would come in and profile as uh, Chauncey Gardner Johnson. Um, who do they bring in safety wise? Tremaine Edmonds or Terrell Edmonds, excuse me. Oh, they also brought in Justin Evans. That's not bad. They actually got some solid depth there at safety because Kayvon Wallace, Marquise Blair, like their safety position, it, it's not great, but they have they have players there. They do. Uh, Julius Brent's going to the Chiefs. That feels like a strange fit. I kind of like him in more of a zone scheme rather than a man, and Chiefs have been running a lot of man. But, I mean, I get it. He's got size. Let's check out what round three has for us. Uh, Bears, Steve Avila. That's just a wonderful pick. Let's get this stupid ad out of my way. Uh, that's right. Brushman will get ad blockers. Uh, someday. Someday. All right. We got... There we go. We got Derek Hall going to the Texans. It's an interesting fit. Darius Rush, I kind of like that. A guy with a lot of upside going to the Cardinals. Uh, I Listen, if you're the Cardinals, you're not competing next year. Get some guys that might need some development but have really big upsides. Keanu Benton's a really good pickup for the Broncos. I like that one a lot. This is the highest I have seen Anthony Bradford mocked. I have not seen him in day two. I think I kind of, where do I have him? Bradford, you are interior 22, and he is a late day three projection for me. Uh, DJ Turner, man, Rams love their undersized uh, corners. They get one there. Curse McLennan, this is another guy that uh, is much earlier than I expect. He is currently sitting at interior 19 for Bro Schmo, and I have him as a six round pick. So uh, a little early. Tajay Spears, so yeah, I, I actually really like that one a lot. Uh, we haven't seen Charbonnet go until now, which means Devon A-Chain, I feel like should be that next guy off the board. Uh, Charbonnet feels, listen, Hassan Haskins, not a big fan. Wasn't a fan of him coming out. Thought he was overdrafted. Uh, ha I think Charbonnet is a much better fit. Much better fit, much better player. Right, Zach Koontz, there you go. Get a developmental tight end. I like that, man. Get that guy with big upside. Ooh, Zach Evans is actually the next wide receiver off or running back off the board. Going to the Browns. Ooh, that's not a bad fit either. Jack Campbell falling down here to 75. Good pickup for the Falcons as they uh, continue to um, groom and develop. Um, was it Troy Anderson? Tyler Steen, a guy that can play guard or tackle. Uh, going to the Patriots kind of feels like a guy they would be taking. JL Skinner, this feels real high for him. Uh, I thought he feels like just a box safety meet, which kind of par for the course. The Rams love their box safeties. They did lose Nick Scott this year. Uh, but Skinner, man, I thought he would definitely make the transition to linebacker, and then he came in way in smaller at the Senior Bowl than he should have. Um, I'm not I'm going to lie. I'm not that impressed with him. I think he could be a really good box safety, but that's about it. Those you could get in the fifth round. All right, guys, let me let you out. Oh, sorry, buddy. All right, what do we got cooking next on the board here? My, I love Daniel Scott. Big fan. I got him as a fourth rounder, so this is a little early, but I think he'd be a good fan. Fit. He could be a good center fielder. A guy that's not afraid to come up and uh, play the run either, though. Does need to work on his tackling technique. Chase Brown, still no Devon A chain. That's something to note. Uh, I don't think I've seen BJ Ojolari go either, which is kind of wild. But Chase Brown going to the Cardinals. You have other priorities. You're in a rebuild, essentially, outside of Kyler Murray, which you're still hoping might work out. So go with the higher value positions. Marvin Mims, I love the pick up listen Steelers fans why don't why are you grabbing a receiver in the first round you know that's not the way that's not the way I know the way my friends I know the way and it's the Steelers picking up a wide receiver on day two that's just what they do so you can come in and profile honestly on the outside or even in like honestly could be a future Devon, um, Deontay Johnson replacement 
Uh, Aiden O'Connell, next quarterback off the board, and it's in the third round. Boy, Detroit, I don't love it for y'all. BJ Ojolari, pick 82, what a steal. Dion Henley, pick 83, what a steal. These are two banger picks back to back. Um, now we're starting to see that next group of tackles. I don't think we saw Dewan Jones come off the board either, which is kind of wild. But, um, Jalen Duncan, I, honestly, I would like Dewan Jones for the Dolphins. But, uh, Duncan, I get it. You like his movement skills in the run game. He's still like a work in progress when it comes to the pass. Uh, Caillou Blue Kelly, you get all right. You get a fine um, player here for the Chargers at corner. Like Caillou Blue, he's solid. I think he's a good fit for the system too. Uh, Parker Washington, they get a really high end slot player there. Uh, that's basically a running back. Maybe you just convert him to running back. Henry Toa Toa going to the Eagles, so they get another. Uh, well, I I thought. Toto would have been a super athlete, but didn't test out as good as I thought. Still tests out well, though. Um, so they get a guy there. It's kind of whatever. Wani Morris, I really like this pickup for the Jags. He could he could play guard. He could play tackle. He's got the frame to play both. A lot of upside with him. You're kind of hoping his best days are in front of him. Kayshawn Boutte. Boy, y'all are going to be shocked where I have Kayshawn Boutte on my wide receiver rankings. You should go check it out. But uh, going to the Giants here. So they wait on wide receiver and they end up getting one. Dwan Jones. So this is the Terrence Steele replacement through and through. I don't see him falling this far. And holy moly, the Seahawks take another developmental pass rusher in BJ Thompson. I, I, I'm pretty sure I got like a day, late day three grade, maybe like six round grade on BJ. Uh, six round grade. I have him as edge 27, and here he is going at 91. Uh, Israel Abedakanda going to the Bengals, so they get that home run threat there. So I don't mind that. I like that. Uh, still no Devon A chain. Tank Dell going to the Panthers. Um, yeah, he's got the size where this is actually kind of a sweet spot, I think, for him. I think even if he, I think he's likely probably a slip down boards just because of the size, because it's really, really, he's really small. Zach Harrison kind of feels like an eagle type of player. Like, I think he's going to be a pretty solid, like, edge setter against the run that has flashes of dominance, like Derek Barnett all over again. Jamie Robinson, so they get like a Julian Love replacement. Though Julian Love was more of a slot player for the Giants. Uh, who they got at safety currently? They got uh, McKinney. Oh, they brought in Bobby McCain. Uh, Jason Pinnock, I think he's a guy that could develop, man. I thought he showed flashes with the Jets. Uh, Dane Belton was a guy they drafted the year before. So this Robinson pick ain't so half bad. Uh, Byron Young, Alabama defensive lineman. They get overdrafted. We saw with Fidarius, uh Or no. What was his name? Was it Fidarian Mathis? But I thought Mathis was a much better uh, player than Young. Uh, we got Jacorian Bennett. So, Commanders get some real speed with Bennett. Owen Papo going to the Browns. They get a linebacker, a very athletic one. Blake Freeland. Good. This is a good range for Blake Freeland. I like him here. Jordan Battle. Oh, this is a good pickup. Like, legitimately. After they lose, um, who did, who did the Raiders just lose this year? It wasn't Curse playing. It was another Patriot safety. Oh, man. I can't think of his name right now. Well, they brought in Marcus Epps, but that doesn't really do much for me. Oh, man. Here, let me let me look at that Raiders 122 depth chart. Oh, no. This is from this year. Why would they show me this year? I'm trying to look for, here we go, 2022 depth chart. Why, why am I still having trouble finding this? Sh show me the 
dude's name? Oh, Harmon. There we go. Thank you. Freaking took forever. Uh, I think Battle will be actually a good replacement for Harmon. Another guy with size. Yo, I love seeing Sid Sal get some some love here. Uh, KJ Henry, pretty solid pickup too. Kind of all right. Uh, but the Sid Sal one, really, I, I love Sid Sal. I have him as like a midday three guy. But, man, tested out well. Had great years at Eastern Michigan. Uh, ended up being selected in the USFL draft. So I think he could be a, like, sneaky under-the-radar day three guy. All right, where are we at? Round four. Let's run through round four. We're, like, 40 minutes into this video. All right, Kendra Miller. I really like him. Go check out my running back rankings. Uh, we got Luke Whipler. That's a good. That's actually a really good center addition there for the uh, Texans. At Perry is a good pickup. Get that size after AJ Green uh, just retired, and D Hop's likely going to be traded. And then they get a slot corner here, though Isaiah Simmons has kind of been that guy. Uh, and Control Clark, uh, Tully Toy Peloto is actually a pretty good pickup. A uh, guy that you're, I kind of feel like is a bit less versatile now that he is a bit. Lesser in size than what he once was. Uh, Devon A. Chain, good pickup for the Broncos there. Get a home run threat. Uh, Brayden Daniels, another dude that I think they could develop. Uh, I don't see him as a tackle. I'll see him better as a guard. Jaden Reed. Uh, so you get a very smooth, probably a slot guy at the next level, but he brings return capabilities. Uh, Browns may be looking to the future of their slot with Clark Phillips. I kind of assume slot because I think... Uh, just the size is going to be a lot to overcome. Um, I think he, firmly he's going day two, though. I'm pretty positive. Carl Brooks, my boy, going to the Jets. Good pickup. Starlin Thomas, they get some speed at corner. I actually really like that one a ton. Warren McLennan's a good pickup. We got Ronnie Hill. Here, let's find some surprising picks. Like Xavier Hutchinson, day, early day three sounds right. Nick Herbig, I think, is going to go earlier. Dorian Williams, that's right. A lot of these linebackers that I liked end up going to the fourth round in Chad's mock. What you doing, Chad? What you doing? Uh, Riley Moss to the Vikings. Uh, DJ Johnson. I'm not a huge fan of. I get it. He's athletic, but I feel like he's a ways away. Siaki Ika falling to day three, but that would be a fine pickup for the uh, Jaguars. Uh, why are the Chiefs picking up a running back? Uh, Jordan McFadden, someone that is very underappreciated in this draft. He did a, he's been like the one solid piece of Clemson's offensive line, like the last like three seasons. Probably deserves a bit more love, but a guy that profiles better as a guard than a tackle in the NFL. Garrett Williams is a good pickup by the Ravens. Uh, Brown's an interesting one here for the Chargers. Yaya Diaby, what a banger pickup by the Browns. Good pickup here. Uh, Luke Schoonmaker going to the Jags. We've got Anthony Orgy. There's going to be an orgy in New York. Aren't there already orgies in New York? I mean, New York be kind of wild. But uh, that'd be a good pickup at linebacker. Tank Bigsby going to the Cowboys. There's Tyler Scott. So they get a vertical player there. Uh, so maybe a future replacement for Gabe Davis so he doesn't have the size. Uh, John... I don't know how to say his last name. The Boise tackle. This is a bit high for him, but I don't mind it. This, this is a bad tackle class. I think we'll see some of the tackle like prospects get pushed up the board because of how lackluster the class is after like your top like seven guys. Uh, Brandon Hill, the Pittsburgh safety. It's pretty good. Get a guy that could be a uh, center fielder. Kobe Wooden. Just add him more to that defensive line. Nick Saldaveri. I got him listed as a guard, man, or a tackle. He's probably playing on the interior. Davis Allen, not a great. I don't, I, think, I don't think that's that sexy of a pickup for the Rams. Oh, is that the final pick? We're ending with that. Oh, man. What blue balls. It is what it is. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. How did you think your team did in Chad's four-round mock draft? But as always, until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.